dear viewers in this video we are going to understand the freedom from interference between software elements it is also called as ffi in short freedom from interference or ffi defined as absence of cascading failure between two or more elements that could lead to a violation of safety requirements and cascading failure is nothing but failure of an element cascaded to other element to fail Cascading failure is also called as dependent failures. So when we look at dependent failures, there are two aspects, cascading failure and common cause failure. Addressing of cascading failure is also called as freedom from interference. When we implement measures for freedom from interference, which means we are addressing half of the dependent failure aspects. These cascading failures in software can happen in three ways, memory, timing and execution, communication or exchange of information. FFI related to memory. In the architecture, the QM element will have its own area for storing the data and similarly, there will be a dedicated area for SL region. Due to some failure in the QM, which resulted QM to overwrite SL memory area. So this is interference at memory. So this can happen due to a corruption of content, incorrect access to the memory used by another software element or stack overflow or underflow. To overcome this, to have a freedom from interference at memory level, we can have some solutions. For example, memory protection unit or memory management unit, which can monitor the access violations or if we are going to store a group of data, then we can implement a redundant storage or CRC to periodically monitor the correctness of the data. FFA related to timing and execution. QM task and SL task will have their own periodicity and the scheduling. In an ideal scenario, both the tasks will get their own chance. Due to some failure in the QM task, which resulted SL task is not getting its chance for the execution, which is called interference related to timing and execution. This can happen due to dead logs, incorrect allocation of execution time, live logs, incorrect synchronization between software elements, blocking of execution. To address this interference, we can have alive supervision, deadline monitoring, program flow monitoring, timing protection unit, adaptive partition, as a possible solutions. FFA related to communication or exchange of information. Communication medium is common for both QM and SL components. For example, if we take CAN, CAN is common for both QM and SL components to send or receive messages. Failure in QM component resulted SL messages getting corrupted, delayed or order is wrongly provided those things is called as interference related to communication or exchange of information this can happen due to unintended repetition of messages loss of messages insertion of messages incorrect sequence of messages corrupted data message delay and masquerading we can have alive counters or sequence counters to monitor the aliveness of the data and sequence of the data and similarly we can have crc chain or checksum or error detection code for the correctness of the data and similarly we can have encryption decryption of data for the security aspects of the data in summary ffa is nothing but absence of cascading failures between software elements so this can happen in three ways memory timing and communication hope you understood ffi between software elements thank you